Travis Adams' decision to go public with allegations Carmelite father Damien sexually abused him at school has now prompted other students to come forward. All the students would line up and then uh, Father Damien would come out and see all the students and then, um, as well as kissing them, he would pull up their shirts and um, inappropriately touch their, their navels and their chests. Former CBC student Matt Muir wasn't abused, but was disturbed by what he saw, saying it was brushed aside. I just saw teachers either just ignore her or turn their back on her. Another former CBC student who did not want to be identified said Father Damien's insistence on kissing us on the lips as a sign of God's divine love was well known. His tactics were textbook, grooming both of us, young people and those responsible for protecting us. There are now claims Father Damien's conduct wasn't just limited to the Christian Brothers Junior College. Father Damien was the parish priest here in the suburb of Hilton for a time. Former students of another Catholic primary school also allege he was a pedophile and say he used to kiss children on the lips in public and touch them. They believe he was moved on from the school under a cloud over his behaviour. State Government Minister Dave Kelly, a former CBC Fremantle student, wants Catholic Archbishop Timothy Costello to make public what the church knows. He should open the books, tell us which pedophiles operated at these schools and make it that little bit easier for victims to come forward. In a statement, the Archdiocese says it has no comment. Mr Adams is taking civil action against the Christian Brothers and Carmelite Fathers, claiming they were negligent in protecting him and other boys from sexual abuse. Nick Perpich, ABC News.